come too far to never turn back, never turn back, never turn back. I know we lose this heart, we come so far to never turn back. What's going on guys, Brandon Harden here. Hope you're having a great day. It's the 1st of April and currently we are 10 weeks out from making our pro debut for the first show of this year, the Toronto Pro Show on June 9th. Right behind me I have a bunch of food that I just laid out because I just got back from Morrison's and right now I'm going to break down my full food shopping list while in the UK at this point of my prep, utilizing some different foods that I like to implement into my diet to make it a little bit more enjoyable. Everything's been laid out pretty nicely. This is all going to be packed away in just a moment but I wanted to break all this down before we do that. So first off we have some salmon. I love salmon on prep. It's just like a really nice source of healthy fats while getting protein in. This is venison steak, an absolute favorite of mine because because I love eating steak on prep. It's quite high in fat and venison steak is incredibly low in fat when it comes to the steak sort of family. Obviously, yes, it's not beef, but nevertheless, it does the job. Then we have these. We have heck chicken sausages. Fat in these is incredibly low and I love having some of these for breakfast with my eggs. If you can find these in your store, please give them a try because they're so full of flavor and I freaking love sausages. We've also got some chicken as well. This is in the freezer, but obviously didn't just pick this up, but this is obviously a staple protein source of most of my meals as well. Vegetables are always changing, but this is what we just picked up. We've got some mushrooms, onions, and avocados, so some necessary fat. I also have courgette or zucchini, or however you say it. As you know, I like to mix and match the vegetables that I do have because it is the one metric of a diet that you can experiment with to add like different pops of flavor. You can add cherry tomatoes and peppers and all those sort of things that are going to be really, really healthy for you in terms of micronutrients, but it does add a different dynamic to individual meals. We've also got some spinach as well. I add this to my eggs, sometimes my pasta. Currently getting in about two to three liters of water a day, so these water enhancers by Robinson's are a must because I hate drinking plain water this one which is summer fruits are pretty nice in terms of like you know making water drinking enjoyable carb sources we have fusilli pasta my favorite and we've got oats and then jasmine rice because basmati is not the way if you're still eating basmati like what are you doing because jasmine rice is the king of rice now for a pop of flavor if you get bored of your diet in this entire thing is 25 calories kimchi is incredible for adding like different dynamics to your meal especially if you can stomach it and it's really good for your gut health as well well. We've got some parmesan because I love having this on my pasta and if you save some fats in the day for this kind of thing and if you grate it very very finely it can cover your entire meal in cheese and be pretty good for macros. The dolmio pasta sauce was the lowest fat I could find and this is the meatball tomato and basil. Adding salsa to my meals is a big must because it adds a lot of flavor and it's basically just chopped tomatoes and very low in calories. And diet coke because I love a carbonated beverage on prep just to like satiate and make you feel full and it's good to sip on in the night time. My next video is going to be a full day of eating showing you exactly how I consume all this food and the meals that I make with it, how I break it down throughout the day and make my prep as enjoyable as possible. Obviously now not being in Canada, being in the UK, we've got some different food options to select from. One thing that's missing from this is in the morning I like to have sourdough. Morrison's didn't have any sourdough but I will be picking some up in the morning when it's baked fresh. I feel like one of the most important things on prep is making sure that you are doing things that are going to allow you to stay on track and not deviate from the plan in any way, shape or form. So sometimes I like to take my macronutrient breakdown and create different recipes. There are different food options available in every country of the world. The UK has some fantastic options for me to be able to utilize and to actually make meals that I genuinely enjoy and are forever changing to obviously make this as enjoyable as possible. Later on this evening, I'm going to be heading to the gym to do today's work. I'm going to take you along with me for that. But I quickly wanted to show you some of the things that just arrived earlier this morning from Amazon that I've ordered for the next hard body deadlift meet. We want to make the next one bigger than the last and we're thinking about it being in Manchester on the 4th of May so in about four to five weeks from now if you're in the Manchester area is going to be the next hard body deadlift meter we got these which are luminous LED strips red to basically wrap around the deadlift platform so it there's a nice ominous glow in this box is a microphone because the one of the biggest issues we ran into last time was when having an announcement to make there was obviously the music in the gym and people speaking which is fine but of course when you got something to announce you want to make sure that people can hear it so in this box I got obviously on brand color we got this, which is a microphone. All we need is an amp to be able to project the sound and a mixer that I'm pretty sure that I have to obviously, you know, receive and do, you know, audio stuff. We're getting new signs made, billboards made. At these events, we like to give away a cash prize for the winners. We're thinking £500 for first place, 
250 pound for second and 100 pound for third place. Everyone will win hard body gift cards to basically give away even more for the winners. We want to do another one and make it better than ever. The only downside to being back in the UK is the weather because it's been tipping it down pretty much ever since I got back. Just leaving for the gym, made a pre-workout, gonna sip it in the car and today we are training at legs and it's at Elite Fitness and legs at Elite Fitness is absolutely freaking incredible. Leg strength is still there, like we haven't dipped any leg strength yet. If anything, the only thing that I'm like dipping in strength wise right now is chest. I'm realizing that my incline dumbbell press is not as impressive as it was. I'm pretty sure we did like the 65 kg for eight recently, but very quickly that will decline. But before the workout starts in the video, I wanna take you on a bit of a journey to where I went the other day, had to drive in the direction of Coventry, which is about 40 minutes from here, to meet a guy halfway that made something for me last year, and it took him copious amounts of time. I've seen pictures of it, and I can not wait to see it in person. So I'm gonna take you there first, and then we'll be at the gym. Before me right here, we have the masterpiece that is something. It's bubble wrapped right now, I've seen pictures of it, but it's so much bigger than I could have expected because it literally takes up the entire back of this car. I can't wait to take the bubble wrap off and actually show you what it looks like in close detail because you obviously haven't seen it yet. This is absolutely extraordinary and I wanted I wanted this guy to tell you a little bit more about like how he came to the picture. What is this masterpiece we have before us? <laughs> cool, so, right, my name's Kuba. I go by Kuba Freds on Instagram. This masterpiece, I was obviously a piece of Brendan. When I first started my gym journey, I started it with a close friend Mine. It was actually another Kuba to be honest. <laughs> he was showing me sort of people, influencers, and one of the people was you. I'm speaking five years back. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So the, the plan was to, to continue this after uni, and then I was like thinking, right, who should we do next, right? This was when you had your uh, profile picture as as that. Yes. I didn't do it every day. Um, I'm at uni right now. I'd say if I were to do it from nine to five every single day, I'd say probably about a week for the nails and then a week for the threading. So about two weeks, yeah. Bro, what the <laughs> fuck? I'm gonna get some beer all of it. Bro, that's so long. <laughs> and you should put on the piece how many hours it took to do it. So this one was around 6,000 nails, 11,000 meters. 11,000 meters, bro. <laughs> You can imagine, like, the gratitude. Because this is absolutely insane, man. No one's ever done, like, something this nice for me. When you get your pro card, it's something you think about for years and years and years. I mean, I remember being 16 years old and answering the question to someone, like, oh, what's your goal with the gym? Do you want to be a pro? I was looking at pictures of people on Instagram that were pros at the time, being like, that's never going to be me. I don't have the genetics for that kind of thing. I have a wide waist, like, pokey out hips like I'm never gonna do that and then this freaking piece <laughs> fucking legend my pleasure my I'm gonna pleasure. give the guy a big hug when I go but um <laughs> absolutely brilliant it's so big <laughs> I can't believe it you want help nah, nah, cool. you're good hey Sweet. it's on its journey yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow I can't believe we got that Thank you very much for the conversation as well. Any, any words of advice? advice? Words of advice yeah, Mark, yeah. put me on the spot there find something you're really good at and just let that take you wherever it takes you yeah, that's good. So Cooper just left, he just drove off with his dad. But I am, I've said it, and I'm gonna say it again, like I'm lost for words, like the, the fact that he put so much time and effort into making something that's gonna be forever long lasting. Like I'm gonna have this when I'm old and gray. To remember a time that signifies such a, a pivoting part in my life when I got something that I never ever thought that I'd get. When you dare to dream to do something that you never believe you can do, but if you just commit to it, you never know if it's gonna happen. You're never gonna find out if it's gonna happen if you do not dare to try. You're right, is it heavy? Lesser. No, 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 not really. She's made of 20,000 meters of string. <laughs> We've arrived in dad's garden. Look, now you can see how big it is. That's George. He's a big dog. And that's this. I know. I know. Now you've got two of us. This is the official unveiling of exactly what we're going to beat this year. You want to cut it open? Your second son? No, because I'll probably cut the string. <laughs> yeah, so we put the nails in. That's fucking crazy. It's brilliant. Yeah, your lips, you look like you're pouting. This is crazy. If you step back and look at it from several feet away. <laughs> You've got the whites and the reds. <laughs> All I have to say about this is what the hell, like the detail on this thing. This is probably the coolest thing that anyone will ever make for me my entire life. Like what on earth did I do in my life to deserve someone to put in the time and the effort to, to do this? My tattoo, somebody has to do it, so why not you, is obviously the writing on the top. Yeah, this is, uh, this is amazing and I can't be any more grateful. I <laughs> what the hell? You never know. You never know what's gonna happen if you if you if you try with like he said outside the car. You never know what will happen 
unless you don't chase the thing that drives you and that you love so much. You never know what's gonna come of it. It's very inspiring for me. And I hope that anybody watching right now, if you have a dream or a goal or anything you wanna do, I mean, somebody could be freaking making one of these for you in the future, who knows? Like, you just don't know what's gonna happen, so, yeah. And we are at the gym. I hope you enjoyed that piece as much as me. Getting the chance to sit there every day now is honestly a blessing. I've had it for a few days. Already drank the pre-workout, gonna head in right now. Start on carbs. I feel like every single workout absolutely should be started on carbs. So we're gonna head in right now and get started. It was a really good leg workout, but I can definitely tell from the vertical leg press. Like, I've been putting five plates on this, six plates on this, but like today, four plates is like the max I could go. So I'm definitely, it's safe to say that I'm getting weaker, but it's all right. It's gonna happen. We're gonna go upstairs now and do some steps and call it a day. So we're done in the gym. We did half an hour worth of steps at the very end, did some posing as well, but really, really happy with the workout to be honest. It was weird to see like strength dip considering we are like 10 weeks out right now, but I'm really, really happy with how things are looking and the condition. Like I feel like I'm getting a bit more fullness in my legs as well. Anabolics increase, condition, you know, you know brings the muscles closer to the skin. You start to see a bit more like 3D pop and I, I really started to see that I think a little bit this session. And so I'm very, very happy about that. And an update on the meetup in Manchester. It's gonna be at a gym called EPI jungle it's in Manchester and that's gonna be on the 4th of May we're gonna be doing an official announcement on Instagram it on Saturday this weekend I think it's the 13th so if by chance you are in the Manchester area and EP jungle is within driving distance please come down it's gonna be a sick time we're giving away over two thousand two hundred dollars worth of gift cards and cash giving away a bunch of free equipment for hard body giving away cash to the winners all the details are gonna be obviously like on Instagram so make sure to follow the hard body Instagram to be up to date with that or EP jungle because they're gonna be posting about it as well that's pretty much it we're gonna head back now and get some food we actually are moving into a new place relatively soon because obviously as of right now we're staying in my dad's spare room and there's not enough space i love it i love being with family like i love living with my dad but obviously now we're in the uk for like a more prolonged period of time than i expected to be in the uk life happens it is what it is i'm not going to go into detail about it but obviously i am still in the uk i've been here for four weeks now and this is where i'm going to be for the foreseeable future until the shows so we need something we can function in properly we're going to find it so in the next video hopefully you get the chance to see where we move so if you guys enjoyed the video please do me a favor drop a like turn on post notifications and subscribe if you haven't already because it really helps the channel grow this was episode nine of hard body shredding and considering now we are 10 weeks out it's about to get fun like after seeing the footage and everything in the gym condition shining through now we're in a position where there's gonna be changes literally incrementally every single video. Make sure post notifications are turned on and you don't miss a single episode. The goal for the series, and I'm gonna speak it into existence right now, we have only recorded so far nine episodes. 
But if we can get in between 30 or 40 episodes over the course of the whole series, which is basically going to be the next 10 weeks on prep and also six weeks of competing. So we essentially have 16 weeks still of the shredding series. So the frequency will go up. I'd like to be posting two to three shredding series videos a week. And then obviously some shorts in between there because who doesn't love a good short? It also helps the channel grow massively as well, which is why we're almost on 1.1 million subscribers, which blows my freaking mind because we only just hit a million. With all that being said, that is it from me. So peace out and I'll see you in the next one.